Let's step up our game just a little bit more and recreate this shape right here. Once again, I'll press Control N to create a brand new file. And remember, there are videos before this one. Go through all of those first. This is Plasticity 0.5.41 Beta. Things are going to break. This is very much heavily in development. Expect things to go wrong. And remember, all the useful links, discords, shortcuts, and the shortcut sheet are going to be down in the description and the top pinned comment. With that all said, let's get making. So right here, I'm going to start with a corner rectangle because I'm going to use this as a construction line this time. So I'll click this down here. I'll click on the gizmo, type in 75, and then right click to confirm and zoom on out. I'm doing this because I want to use the regular polygon tool and that doesn't currently have snapping to a dimension and I'm all about dimension. So I'm going to click here on that point. Then I'll use control and scroll. Remember all the shortcuts are down there and I'm going to snap it right there. Brilliant. I'll select this edge, press X and delete this, select this edge, press D and I'll fill it all of these at the same time to 10 left click to continue that there. So I want to bring in some circles now. So I'm going to select my center circle, find the center and pull that out to that snap point there. Right click to confirm that and I'm going to go with edge selection now. I'm going to select this edge right there and let's talk about arrays. We have two different types of arrays that can pretty much be used in solid as well as curves and they are the rectangular array and the radial array. Let's do a rectangular array first and I'm going to do this along the Y. I'm going to type in here 20 and then I'm going to change the number to 3. And that is what I'm wanting. Let's click OK there. And now let's talk about the radial array. Unfortunately, I can't radial array all of these at the same time. You'll see if I go radial array along the Z. Well, that's not quite what I was looking for. So let's cut all these up. So to cut all these up, remember the shortcut here is T for trimming. But I also want to hide what isn't going to be trimmed for the time being. So to hide the inverse, that is shift h so now i'll press t and i'll trim all of this away right there so just trimming that up then i'll select all of this oops i did not mean to trim all of that so Control z there we go and i'll press t once again and i'll trim that right there right click to confirm that and now i'll select all of that because i want to join this up with there and hit J. It's all joined up to one. And now let's go and radial array this. So I'm going to go with the radial array on the Z and I want this to be by three. Click out, click OK. Perfect. Let's go face selection. Select these three faces, extrude them out by 15. Right click. I'm happy with that. And for the time being, let's go and hide these just for the sake of it. Oops, didn't mean to hide them actually, because I need to go Alt H to bring everything back because I want to actually grab this and then bring this up by 10. Right click to confirm that. And now let's Boolean all of this together. I'm selecting through things and things are getting a little bit out of hand. So I'm going to press Alt Z to turn off my X-ray. Remember that is right there. I'm going to press four for solid selection, select my base object. Then I'll press shift and select my other ones. Remember that the context menu has a whole bunch of tools here and we're wanting that Boolean. So I'll press Q. There's more shortcuts right there. So I'll press Q once again to join it as a union. And remember that you can change things up right here. I'll leave that for you to play around. I just like working with this workflow here. I'm going to right click to confirm that. And now let's do an offset of this face. So I'll press three select this face, press O for a loop offset. Remember that's down there. So O loop offset. I'm going to do a loop offset. I think I'm going to go with four for now. Left click. I'm happy with that. Right click. There it is. Let's press D. Let's do this to about one millimeter. I'm happy with left click to confirm that. And now I'm going to press shift four so that I can select the solid, 
select the face, and then pull this down by minus five. Remember that if things go funny, press Control R because sometimes face selections don't work. Control R is just reloading plasticity, so it recalculates things. Okay, I'm gonna right click to confirm that. I'm happy with how that is there, but I wanna also do offset of all these faces. So I'm gonna press three for just faces, select this face here, press O. I think I'm gonna go with minus four or just four, I think, let's see, is in the positive so it's a minus four that I'm going for. That's what I'm wanting. Yep. So I'm going to do that to just one, not to all of them, because I'm going to radial array that. So now I'm going to do a D and then I'm going to pull this out by, let's see, is three a good number? Yeah, three looks good to me there. Left click to confirm that. I'm happy with that there. Now let's radial array that. So I'll click the radial array, click the Z, change this down to three and click OK. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's go and click our solid selection, press shift click for face selection, make sure that our solid is selected. Then I'll select all of these faces and I'll just pull them down. Oops, I selected. So you can see I'm not currently selecting the faces that I want to select. So this is a good point of pressing control R to reload everything. Then I'll go back to my full view here. So forward slash to fill it in after I select something. I'm now gonna select this and now I'll be able to select the faces. Remember, this is in development, very beta. Things need to be reloaded and will break. So I'll pull this down here, right click, and there it is. Okay, I think we're done with sketches for the time being. So I'm just gonna go with over here and just hide all of those curves. Now let's start to add some bevels here. So I'll press two. I'm gonna select both of these here. And remember these are tangent. Everything here is tangent to one another. So we'll all go at the same time. I'll press one and that's what I want here. Right click and there it is. Now I want to be able to just do one giant bevel here. That's gonna affect all of the edges all around including the non-tangent ones. So to do that, we need to hold down alt and then click and that will select all edges that are connected including the non-tangent ones. And I'm gonna give this a bevel of two. Yeah, that looks good. Right click, there it is. I'm gonna do the same now with all of these up here. Remember that I have to hold down alt as well here. And I wanna give this a bevel of two as well. Okay, now that that's done, right click. I'm gonna click all of these lovely tangent ones though. And now that all of those there are selected, I'm gonna go with a minus one chamfer. So I'll select that point there, minus one happy with how that is right click okay now let's bring in that nice little bit in the bottom oh let's just do this last little bit here which i think this is three that's exactly what i want so i want that little that little bloop right there in the center so to do that i'm going to bring back my curves and i want to hide this one here so i'll press h and then i'm actually going to hide my solid and then i'm going to also hide this one there let's bring in a center circle right to that point. Now, if things aren't snapping, it means that we have to zoom in so that we can get the snap point. So let's carry on zooming in. Sometimes things go a little bit weird. Oh dear, it's not working. It's okay. I can show you a different way of snapping to the origin. So I'll pull this out, press D. Let's go with 10. I'm happy with that. I'm going to hit enter, right click to confirm that. And to move this, we're going to press G to do a movement. And then I'm going to click freestyle movement. Now, there is many ways we can use the freestyle movement. I'll press F. Now, instead of placing it anywhere, right-clicking it will technically move it to the center of whatever. And right-clicking once again right now is going to move this over to the origin point. Remember that. Right-click will move it to the center of something. So center of a solid, center of a curve. And right-click again will move it to the origin point. So with that there, let's now right-click to confirm that. Select this face here. I'm going to extrude this up by 10 and right-click to confirm that. Now that's gone weird like that because remember all of our solids are currently hidden. So let's show this solid right there. It will come back. We just need to click out to bring it back. There it is. And I'm now gonna go and select this top face here, press O, 
and I'm going to bring in a curve and I'm going to go minus five for that hole. Left click, I'm happy with that. Right click, confirm. Now let's Boolean this together. So number four for solid selection, select this, select that, Q and Q, right click to confirm. So now that I've done that, let's go and do our last little beveling here. So I'll select these two here and I'll bevel this by 2.5 to get that little bloop. If we wanted, we could go a lot further. So just to show you, we can just really crank this up to however we want. You know what? Let's actually go for three because that looks a little bit better. Okay. So we go for three there, right click to confirm. Now let's go and cut this out. Remember that is shift four solid selection and we also need face selection. So shift click on that one if we want. I'll click this solid, click that face. Are we getting that face? Remember if you do not get the face, that means that we have to reload. So let's press control R to reload plasticity. Things will go wrong. Remember that forward slash. I'm going to hide this curve right there because we don't need it. Now I'll select this object, select this face and cut through like so. Right click to confirm. I'm going to hide all of the curves now. I will select this curve there, select the bottom curve as well. And I'm going to go minus one, right click to confirm. And there you have it. So yes, things are getting a little bit more complicated now, but make sure you save this. Things are looking good. Remember, right click, you can click this nice little red thing to see it. If you don't want all those edges, right click, go here to show edges and hide that away. Remember that it might look like it's low poly from far away, but if we really zoom in, that's where you start to see the magic of nerves. It is absolutely infinitely high detailed. So we'll get on with the next model right after this. Now, if you want to share what you're making or get a little bit of help with plasticity, you can join the MakerTales Discord where I have a plasticity channel right there, or you can try and join the plasticity Discord and information for that will be down in the description or in the top pin comment where I'll be keeping that as up to date as possible. If you're enjoying what I'm making here and you think I'm worthy of your support, you can join this lovely group of esteemed people, my lovely patrons. Thank you so very much. And a big thank you to my VIP makers, Jem Oskinacht and David Fernandez. It really means the world to me. Thank you for watching. Keep making and let the quest continue.